Hello, hello everyone. This is Mike at Play Favorites. We're a friendly neighborhood toy store located in beautiful Front Royal, Virginia. And this afternoon, my goal in life, my raisin d'etre, is to teach you how to play Mangaka. Or maybe Mangaka? I'm gonna call it Mangaka. Alrighty, now this is a game all about drawing manga or comics. But don't worry, even if you don't like comics, you just like drawing and who doesn't like drawing games, this one is a ton of fun. It can be played by one to eight players, and I want to emphasize that one because this is a really fun game, even if you're just playing it by yourself. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play, and the box says 12 and up. Now here's the thing, the rules to the game are really simple. I think even an eight-year-old could understand them just fine, maybe even younger, but actually playing the game can be a little bit challenging. Here's how to play. Let's start with what comes in the box. You get a pad of papers. Now, not all of the papers in the pad are the same, and I'm gonna show you right now how they differ. The game takes place over four rounds. In the first round, each player is going to get a piece of paper with two panels on it. In the second round, you're gonna work on a piece of paper with four panels on it. In the third round, six panels, and in the fourth round, you're going to be working with eight panels. Now, the game gets more and more challenging from round to round because you get bonus points if you, end up, if you are able to draw in each of those panels within the allotted time frame, which is eight minutes per round. Now, you only get eight minutes in the first round, the second round, the third round, and the fourth round, so it's easy to fill two panels in eight minutes. When you've only got two panels on a piece of paper, it's a lot harder to fill all eight panels on the piece of paper in only eight minutes. That's one minute per panel. And you've got to think of the story at the same time. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here's how the rest of the game works. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to draw three theme cards. The theme cards are also referred to in the rules as obsession cards. Now, these cards are going to represent what you, as the comic book authors, what your obsessions are. What are the themes that you just can't get enough of that you're trying to draw in every panel, whenever possible, in all of your comics? Let's go through a few of these. And you're going to score points based on how often you draw or mention these themes. So here I've got a theme, toys or dolls, Yakuza, the Japanese ma mafia, urban blue collar jobs, Blood and Gore, we'll keep going a little bit. Cross-dressing, time slips or interdimensional travel, workplace humor, so on and so forth. There's a huge variety. Now in every single round, you're, you're gonna start the game with three of these and every round you can score one point per theme or obsession mentioned. Now moving on, in every round other than the first round, you're going to draw trend cards. You're gonna draw a certain amount of them, discard a certain amount of them, um, and the trends are just like the themes, but they change from round to round because they recommend the market trends, which are very, very fickle. So in round two, you may have suffering. You gain one point for each panel you draw containing someone sweating or someone bleeding. You may also gain points for shoujo manga. Shoujo is a girl's Japanese comics. You'll gain one point for each panel containing either, either flowers or love scenes like kissing or romantic dialogue. So these are extra ways to score points if you can figure out ways to include them in your comic. As the game goes on, you're going to go from two trends to three trends until finally, finally in the last round you will have four trends. So you're trying to incorporate a whole lot of very disparate nonsense into your comic book. So things get really, really crazy and time is very, very tight, which makes the game a lot of fun because if you're focusing too hard on making a masterpiece of a novel, if you're trying to make like a four page Les Miserables, you're not gonna do it. And if you're trying to create a an artistic masterpiece on in every single panel, it's not gonna work. There isn't enough time. So you have to be very quick. Draw Stickman. Don't think too hard about how you're going to wrap up your plot, how everything is going to coalesce, how you're going to tie all the ends together and just make it a perfect, wonderful story. 
just draw, try to score as many points as you can. That's what's important, that's what makes it crazy, that's what makes the game fun. The first time you play, it's going to be like, wow, how can I do this? This is the hardest creative writing class I have ever taken. The more you play, the more you'll realize what's important to do, what's not important to do. But the main thing that's important to do in this game is not take it too seriously, just have a lot of fun. At the end of every round, obviously, every player has to read their comic to another person. It's like a show and tell session. At the end of four rounds, you add up your scores that you've accumulated. The player with the most score wins the game, but winning the game in this game doesn't really matter. Just for spits and giggles, I'll tell you how you can score points. Alrighty, you get one point per obsession drawn or mentioned each round for a maximum of three because you only have three obsessions two points for using no more than three word balloons a word balloon is like you know people talking um and you get two points for drawing something in each panel so keeping score is pretty easy and you have these handy dandy tokens that you can hand out throughout the rounds at or as you're keeping score to just make it a lot easier Anyway, that's the game. That's Mangaka. If you like drawing, if you like writing, if you just like crazy, wacky, zany, fun time party games, you're going to love this. Uh, I'm a big fan. That's all I have to say. This is Mike at Play Favorites. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Toodles.